I've been thinking a lot about procrastination and the role that it has played in my life for many, many years. It has been my Achilles heel, the thorn in my side, uh, you name it. And even though I've achieved some cool stuff, I cannot tell you how many plans I have made and actions I have started yet never completed. Innumerable, too many to count. All because of procrastination and stopping. I think about where I would be in life had my focus been different. What started me thinking about this is I was passing by a young man, just watching him as I was walking on a path and he was doing drills for uh, what looked like a combine, like the NFL combine, but obviously not the NFL, um, probably college age. And working just by himself on drilling, 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 the start of running, the start of running, starting, 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 over and over and over and over again. And it brought me back to when I was in college and the distractions that were always around me. But moreover, the fact that I was distracted by those distractions, if that makes sense. I didn't drink, I never did drugs, I never wasn't a partier. But there were other distractions, things that took me off uh, the path that I had chosen. And I've shared this many times with my wife and with friends and people that I work with, people that I, you know, now that I, I coach, for lack of a better word. I don't like that word, I like work with, consult with. And that, that thought is this. When you place importance on something, and it's super important to you, that gets your attention. That's where you focus your efforts. And until that thing becomes important, the distractions will come in. Or other things that you feel are more important will take over. The kicker, however, is that some of those distractions are not more important. Some of those distractions are caught up in emotion or um, lack of focus, lack of a plan. And so it's easy to get distracted. It's easy to get sidetracked. And when I passed by this young man who wasn't distracted, didn't have anybody pushing him except for himself, it reminded me of how much we can accomplish. It's not too late. I mean, I'm 58 and I am creating new things all the time. But where does it start? And do you have the determination to make your goal a reality? Or is it going to be that gym membership that you pay for and you never use? So that's up to you. Just a thought. You have so much sitting there, so much ahead of you. Again, it doesn't matter if you're on in years or you're just starting out. You can make something of the thing you have in front of you. You can create a future that you want. You can change your circumstances so that they're better than they are or different than they are. You can do it. It's about your mindset. It's about removing the distractions, really removing them, and then starting. So, start.